Hello folks and welcome to my channel. Um, I'd like to introduce you to my headlight project. Uh, in this project I'm, I'd like to experiment with, with headlights. Here uh, you can see there's a, uh, there's a headlight from, from an Alfa Romeo 159. We're going to swap out the original projector lens which is made by Bosch or automotive lighting and we'll be changing it out to this one this uh, Hella 3R which is a Chinese replica of, of a Hella lens that is suitable for accepting a an H7 bulb this one is not an H7 bulb but we'll get to that later so basically this is going to be the the start of the project. First of all the the headlights is is pretty filthy so it needs a good clean. I know I didn't do a good job with cleaning the, the headlight, but that'll do for now. Here we have a problem. First problem, that this bulb cap inside here, you can see that it has, you know, detached itself from, from the reflector bulb. And before it does too much harm to the reflector, I'm going to try to refit it. I finally managed to fix that uh, bulb cap. Maybe it needs some adjusting, but now let's um, proceed to removing the projector. By the way, I'm drinking this uh, very, very tasty Georgian lemonade. It's very good. As you can see here, the projector is held in by three Torx screws. There's one, two, and three. So why do I do this? Uh, recently I, I changed my headlight projectors in my own headlights to some Chinese replicas of, of that original headlight projectors and the main difference is that the new ones contain this high beam solenoid but in those replicas the solenoid is mounted not here not here behind this lens but it's way farther underneath the reflector bulb what this does is uh, it takes up space and when the headlight is aligned to uh, properly not to blind others and then this uh, solenoid barely touches the headlight housing and it barely moves the the whole you know uh, this uh, diaphragm yeah so it, it barely touches it and you know moves it out of place uh, which in turn makes the uh, headlight cutoff line not so sharp as it should be and basically this problem is is only encountered in 
and the lift headlight because you know the the headlight housings they are symmetric but the headlight lenses are just the same and based on their construction there's this effect so the goal is to fit these headless as you could see there are two of them left and right first of all it's going to be these headless that have the D2S and uh, H7 mounting and then I'm thinking of doing some some stuff with uh, Xenon and maybe LED in the future yeah so here there is it looks like an H7 bulb but actually it isn't this one's an H18 bulb the difference is barely noticeable I'll zoom in a bit H18 12 volts 65 watts new vehicles utilize these bulbs they are higher precision than H7 mm, this cutout here is is uh, is meant to be here so that you don't stick an H7 bulb into uh, an H18 reflector and vice versa this little uh, you know notch is a bit widened on this side so that you don't stick it into the H7 mounting so how did I achieve that in, in this uh, projector lens here actually as you can see I fold this this uh, bit down because here you can see that, that there is a, a right angle maybe I managed to file it down so that this uh, this not fits here does it pose a problem to align the bulb properly I don't think so because there is this this embossing that catches this this part of the bulb that's uh, stamped so the bulb doesn't move here and it's it's perfectly secure so as you can see I, it doesn't change its position anyhow so I can secure it in place with those so. okay hi so another day another cup of coffee and today we'll be we'll be continuing the project so um, here you can see both of the uh, headlight projectors. This one is is the original Bosch AL projector uh, without the mechanism for the high beam, so a movable shutter. This one, on the other hand, is is the Hella 3R. Actually, I shouldn't say Hella because it's a replica. Okay, so let's get to it. Uh, let me change the, the view of it and then I'll show you the differences between those two, two projector types. This here is a pile of hardware that's going, that I'm going to use to mount the new projector inside the headlamp. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what are the differences between the two? This one, the original one, is a Bosch AL projector. It accepts an H7 bulb and it it's on is the only bulb that it can accept of course you can put here some some xenon you know equivalents of the H7 but I'm not into that um, this one does not contain a movable shutter to uh, to enable you to use high beams um, with this projector however it does have a feature um, that enables you to travel from from the your country of origin where you purchase the vehicle to a country where where they drive on a different side of the road in particular in this particular case this one comes from a right hand drive car so uh, so here you can see how the cutoff line is is designed and there is this lever that can uh, raise the the portion to make the uh, cutting line symmetric so by doing this you can 
easily travel to, for for example, from the UK to continental Europe, and then you won't be blinding others at the cost of having uh, less visibility on on the on the one side of the road. This one, on the other hand, is a replica of a Hella lens. Uh, so this one has a movable shutter. The cables are not attached. This is an MQS connector, two pin, typical automotive connector. The the H18 bulb I already um, described to you. So you should know uh, what's this all about. But this headlight lens is more compact. In in my case, it won't. Uh, the this shutter mechanism won't touch the headlight housing and, and by not doing that I will get a clear sharp uh, cut of line which necessarily isn't you know um, expected because a sharp cut of line like really really sharp razor sharp cut of line mm -hmm, makes it um, tiring for your eyes actually at night but whatever I like I prefer to have it this way mm, so um, what's different the different are uh, first of all the mounting points for this projector here you can see the, uh, the this one this one and these two on the other side these are meant to, to attach the projector to the to the headlight but these are different so how are we going to attach this one to the headlight the answer is by using a an adapter plate that you already saw but uh, this time it's already been trimmed uh, I'll show you in a moment why okay so we're gonna use an adapter plate but as we can see here when we align these two in the two projectors we can see that the lens starts in a different place let's say we're lacking about half an inch 12 millimeters and that's why before mounting it to this uh, mounting plate we're gonna utilize some standoffs these are steel standoffs zinc plated they are half an inch almost 12 millimeters metric m4 thread and uh, that's how we're gonna attach this uh, new projector to the adapter plate by using these standoffs to, you know, kind of push it inside of the headlight housing. Okay, so here's the view of the inside of the headlight. The original projector was already uh, removed from here. Here you can see the three um, standoffs. Oh yeah, so here's one. The, the first one, second one, and the third one. These are the three mounting holes that we can screw the adapter into. And why did I shave it off, let's say, or, or, or trim it? So if we put this adapter here... Okay, so I stick through two screwdrivers uh, through the holes to hold the adapter in. And as you can see here, um, uh, there is this third, uh, third hole to be... For, for the screw and here the problem was that it you know collided with this here so that's why I needed to shave it off a bit I forgot to use the washers, but uh, I'm using pretty short screws here, so um, these are not not to be worried right now. I know it's not professional, but I'm going to be removing this adapter plate anyway, because here we have another problem. Mm, the way I mounted this uh, this adapter plate is is from the from behind of the 
reflector bowl mm, because as I've previously mentioned I'm, I'm going to be pushing this into the uh, I'm going to be elevating this uh, adapter frame from the those uh, this mounting surface of the actual projector bowl and here is another problem that we have so um, there is a factory mounting holes that are inside our um, headlight utilize this uh, from these to the upper uh, let me zoom in a bit so this upper hole then then this upper hole and these have pretty much the clearance that you need to uh, put that uh, you know that let's say tower for the uh, that contains the the mounting hole for the screw inside the headlight but here in on the top of the projector we're using the the third one two three the third hole and as you can see this one interferes with the with this flange on the side of a um, of the reflector ball and that's why we're going to be uh, you know we need to remove some material to make uh, to clear the path for the molding f with with the screw hole and only then we'll be able to attach uh, this projector uh, to our headlight even in this stage it's going to be difficult because you know as you can see the the screw hole isn't aligned with the I mean it, it already interferes with the screw here is a solution to our problems actually this projector lens is meant to be used in the right headlight and I'm currently I'm working with the left headlight so this one goes away and here is the uh, the thing that actually I worked on yesterday evening and here I've been clearing those um, pieces of metal this mounting mounting surface for those uh, moldings to to attach to our adapter plate so here you can see that I uh, shaved it off a bit using just a hand file. Here I, I cleared it away for, for this uh, molding going to touch the adapter plate on the other side as well. Here is the, the cutout. Okay, and then uh, on the upper side, this one's, uh, mm, there is this area that I uh, also uh, shaved up with, with a hand file. And uh, and yeah, now we have space for this molding to to go through to this uh, third third hole. We're not finished yet because uh, uh, what I'm gonna do is clean those edges off here on the top and on the bottom, these two, and then I'm going to use this one as a template and then um, prepare the actually the right one for the right headlight. Some other thing uh, you may you might be you know worried that I mm, touch the everything with my bare hands. And there is a piece of tape that catches all the shavings, and and I I try to keep it as as uh, as low on dust inside here as possible. Uh, but I'm not too too worried because this is just a project for fun. When I'm doing the the xenon version, I'll be more more careful. I already have you know the, the process where to cut, what to cut, so it's going to be easier. And now it's just a pretty fiddly job to you know um, remove this bracket, this adapter plate, uh, fit it in, check it if it you know if it finds its place inside the reflector. So it's just a project for fun, nothing, you know, nothing major.
Okay, now by doing those cutouts, those adjustments to this flange, I can easily fit the projector here without problems to to attach it. So for the top part, I'm using washers, as I, as I previously mentioned. Maybe this was the final time to when I assemble this. But for the bottom part, I'm not using these because uh, wait, here I'm not using these because there is this sheet of metal that I think acts sufficiently enough as a as a washer. And then, as you can see, the thread on this uh, standoff is pretty short. It's about a third of an inch, eight millimeters, I think. So, um, yeah, I, I think it should stick out significantly more above the above the the um, nut. But whatever, we have what we have. So this is, I think, assembled and ready to be mounted onto the into the headlamp. However. I won't do it because those, as I previously mentioned, those um, holes are too small to accept this this uh, screw, which is five millimeters. But I can fit it and, and see if it if those those mounting holes line up. Okay, so everything looks pretty neat on this side as well. The the mounting holes line up. Now I'm going to uh, borrow a drill from a friend and, and finish the project basically.